Luigi, I'm afraid I have what we in certain lead scientific circles call bad news. Remember when the gloomy manor had some unexpected visitors? No, no, I don't mean the spiders. Keep your shirt on, Sonny. I'm talking about the ghosts that came out of nowhere. Well, at this time, the paranormal signals seem stronger. We'd better play it safe and say doing to investigate. As usual, I'll be watching your progress and guiding you here. Look lively. Hello, everybody. My name's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Now, you may notice there is no game audio. I forgot to record that when I was recording the footage, and I forgot to record my commentary. So I get to do post commentary in this video, yay! Except not yay because I don't like doing post commentary anymore. But anyway, welcome back to Spider Man: Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. In the previous episode, we defeated the haunted towers, and in today's episode, we're gonna finish it off once and for all by completing the extra mission. Hmm, spooky. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning is that I did originally intend on having displaying both screens at the same time. I don't know what happened though. I pressed the button. And it seemed fine on my end when I was recording, but for some reason it only just recorded the top screen, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but it's just something that happened. So, while we're going through here, this is all stuff that we've seen before, but I did promise that every extra mission we'll be talking about, like, some super awesome new secret easter egg thingy my jigger of jigginess. that's awesome! So... What I'd like to talk about this time around is that this game's a connection to the original Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. Fair warning, there are spoilers ahead for the ending of Luigi's Mansion. Kind of. Well, not really. Um, there's some slight spoilers coming ahead, so if you have not beaten Luigi's Mansion but you don't want to be spoiled, then you probably don't want to watch this video. Um, but this is something that I want to talk about because I think it's really interesting. In the original Luigi's Mansion game, the ranking system was a lot more useful than it is in this game. In that game, um, in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, every individual level is ranked. In the original game, your entire playthrough was ranked, and you'd get a slightly better ending depending on how well you played. Um, I won't go into the details this time around because, um, just in case I want to, just in case I decide to let's play the original game on the GameCube, I could talk about more that more detail in that let's play. But what I'd like to do this time around is um, one of the endings, I believe it was your rank D mansion in that game, um, but Luigi's house at the beginning of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is the same house that you get if you get the D rank in the original game. So I believe that means that that would be the uh, canon rank for um, the Luigi's Mansion series, um, and something that's also pretty interesting is that in Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube, I'm not entirely sure if, uh, this was, if you could see this on any of the tracks remakes, but I believe on Luigi's Circuit, um, you could see, um, the, um, rank A Manson on the track in the background, so that's a pretty interesting little connection right there, so that's, uh, pretty awesome. And moving on to more connections between the different games, and again, this is also something that connects it to Mario Kart as well. In the original GameCube game, it was a Porticus 3000, but in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, it's a Porticus 5000. So you may be wondering what happened to why Nintendo doesn't seem to be counting anymore. What are they, Microsoft all of a sudden? <laughs> Burn. But anyway, um, the really cool thing is, in Mario Kart DS, Luigi had a car that looked like the vacuum from the GameCube game, but it was a Porticus 4000. So, I find it pretty interesting just how many connections there are between the Luigi's Mansion and the Mario Kart series. Like, is it possible they take place in the same universe? I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, but it's, it is still very interesting to think about. And all this just makes me wish that um, that car from Mario Kart DS was something that you could use in the Luigi's Mansion games. Maybe if they make a Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo Switch, that, that'd that actually be really awesome, wow. <laughs> I was just joking, but a Luigi's Mansion on the Switch would be really cool, especially if you had a, like, a drivable Porticus. Nintendo, get on it. You make Luigi's Mansion Switch cart thing happen. It is your destiny to make it. <laughs> Alright, 
Now I would say where past me was going at this point in the video, but I don't, again, I don't know what happened to the footage of the bottom screen. So that's not a very fun thing, but we can all assume that he's heading over towards the uh, eastern part of the mansion. I used to think that's the eastern part of the mansion. Hopefully I'm right about that. Alright, Greeny, meet your destiny. Your destiny is the Dark Light device. And now we've cleared out another room. Um, one thing that's uh, pretty interesting, and you did see this earlier in the video, at least if you were paying attention, um, but um, the really nice thing about the extra missions in this game is the fact that w um, any gems that you did not get in the previous novels, you will be able to get them now. So don't go thinking that you have to replay those levels just because you missed a gem, don't worry. If you know where it is, you can still get it even on the extra mission. Although, personally, I do recommend trying to get them when you're originally there because of the uh, mansion, because the, not the mansion, the um, uh, level layout is going to be a bit random whenever you play the extra missions. Just because the, this is going to be the same, these ghosts are going to be in these locations on my game does not necessarily mean it will be the same on yours. It will always be different whenever you're playing on the extra missions. Again, you don't necessarily need to beat them to 100% the game. I just personally like doing playing through these levels because it's just really fun. And we have one more ghost before we destroy Gloomy, not Gloomy Manor, Haunted Towers. And I can't hear, and I won't, none of us will never be able to hear if they made the funny noise or not. And I guess that wasn't the last ghost I thought it was. Yay, I'm embarrassed now, except I'm not, because I am never embarrassed. Did you even see my Earthbound Let's Play? Uh, like, every other video was like, MAGIC BUTTERFLY! <laughs> uh, hopefully this will be the last time we go through this room with all these stupid ghosts. This is certainly not a familiar sight at all, except the Slammer is appearing now, and let's see if Pass Me is able to get all of them at once. Come on, come on, come on! You can do this past me! Yeah! Past me is manly! Mission complete! Clear time, ghost captured, health lost, dresser, and go! That's three in a row. Hopefully that's a running trend for this let's play. Yay, texture glitch. I know I could count on you, Luigi. Good job. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're starting to enjoy this gig. <laughs> yep, beneath that fragile, quivering exterior lies a daring thrill seeker with a hut of guild. And let's see what ghost that we captured. Jump! New ghost! Money! Any, where are we? Yes, ghosts. Always with the ghosts. What, it, what I still don't understand is where all these ghosts are coming from. The periscope doesn't detect them well, well, until they're here, so I can't trace their origin. Well, they're gone now, so let's go back to our quest. We will be taking care of that in the next episode, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Next time, we'll be taking care of our third world in the game, the old clockwork. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, it's geared to you. Oh yeah!